Hey YouTube, quick video about my recent iPhone 14 Pro Max NAND upgrade. I had 128 NAND and I uh, wanted to uh, up the memory a little bit. So I had the toner board with 256 gigs. Um, I swapped it out without doing anything. Just basically took the uh, NAND 256 from the donor board, put on mine, uh, restored it. And I had weird uh, uh, static or or uh, something on the screen like looked like like the screen was dirty so this is what i'm talking about this couple of pictures i took so this is how the apple logo looked and this is how the actual uh screen looked you know it's like it's like um like a dirty background like you have a bunch of uh dust on the uh backlight layer that's how it looked and uh you know i restored a couple times same thing uh, I went to the community to check on some resources and people said that the NAND has to be clean. So uh, what I did is I took back my, uh, took out my NAND. Let me, so this is, this is the 256 in question right now. And as you can see, there's nothing like that right now. Everything looks pretty good. There are, nothing wrong with the screen so uh, this is what needs to be done in order to eliminate this issue if you're doing the NAND upgrade as you can see this is my uh, old NAND 128 BGA 315 okay and this is the new NAND the 256 right now 256 installed in the phone okay and this is what needs to happen in order for you not to have this kind of crazy static on the screen so before you do an upgrade you have to have a JC programmer so it's either JC V1S Pro with the BGA315 adapter which what this is what I have or uh, JCP15, they'll do too. So this is my old NAND, obviously. So I'm inserting that. I did not detect it properly. Let me repeat. Now it's good. One twenty-eight shows here. So what needs to happen? You need to. Uh, erase it completely before you install it in the phone. So th obviously this is my old NAND, but that's what you need to do with the new NAND. You're going to be putting on your phone. Click here, choose uh, the proper 14 Pro Max. Confirm and you want to make sure to do a deep repair. Sure to clear all the data and click confirm. Okay, and that will they'll, uh, format the NAND and should, you know, take care of the issue. I also did, you know, to be sure what the, the, the step I did, I'm not, you know, I think the, the complete uh, NAND format will do it, but I also did the clear, I also did everything. Initialize, uh, right, also did the right, you know, so after I did this stuff, I went to repair chose that that was my last step pro max continue deep confirm so now it's not formatted so after this format of the nand um, I, I installed back the uh the 256 nand after i formatted that 256 the way i did on this one uh my screen is clear now so this is what needs to happen basically if you're upgrading uh, your NAND the proper way otherwise I mean I mentioned it right away there's something wrong with the screen and I put that screen on a different uh, 14 Pro Max and the screen was clear no no issues just on the um, on the iPhone I did the NAND upgrade I did some more stuff to it so I was thinking I was not, I was not thinking it's a NAND originally because I actually was separating the board and repairing some pads on it so I didn't really think it's a NAND but with the help of the community, I was able to find that information. So uh, just sharing with you, if you have this issue, uh, 
make sure to clean your NAND, otherwise it will spoil your, spoil your LCD. Thank you very much for watching. If you have liked my videos, please subscribe, hit that thumbs up button. It really helps to grow my channel. And thank you very much and have a lovely day, guys. Bye.